Yes, sir. Yes, I was wondering, as a Muslim, are you at all embarrassed about what's going on in Afghanistan with the destruction of Buddhist symbols uh, and an unwillingness to let other people have those symbols if they don't want them in Afghanistan? And, and is this a sign, if you'd answer that, is this a sign of a fundamental intolerance for other people's beliefs? No. Uh I think it's a sign of bad PR skills. Uh, oh, the question, I'm sorry, was that am I embarrassed by what's going on in Afghanistan and with the destruction of the Buddhist idols? And is this a sign of, what was that, sir? A fundamental intolerance. A fundamental intolerance. Okay, and so in response to that, I said, no, I really. Uh, I'm not embarrassed because I'm not there. So, not being there, I really don't have a, a sense of the nuances of the situation which led to such an attitude. But I can say this, first of all, uh, the Taliban is not intolerant to the point that they cannot peacefully coexist with the statue of Buddha. They, they came to power in the mid-90s and Buddha was safe until this year. So there's no, in, uh, there's no intran uh, in, intrinsic uh, inability of the Taliban to coexist with these statues. I think that it is unfortunate what has happened there and that uh, I think it's short-sighted their failing, failure to realize that we indeed, uh, as Marshall McClellan said, live in a global village because of the, the communications network which, which brings us all into contact uh, with each other. And as such, we have to really be very careful what we do and say. But I think what's lost in all of this, what precipitated their action? In other words, they've been in power since, I think, 1996, and, and Buddha was perfectly safe. So they've, they're in the midst of a, a, a very difficult drought and famine in Afghanistan. And the UN, uh, at the peak of this famine earlier this year, offered to send money to fix up the Buddha. Now, why does Buddha need fixing up? Because the British soldiers during their occupation used to use Buddha as target practice and knock large holes in it. And, and the only reason they couldn't blow it up because uh, during the 19th century when we're, they were there, they didn't have adequate firepower. So Buddha is pretty chipped up from the damage done by the, during the British occupation. So they offer the UN to fix up the, the Buddha. So the Taliban said, well, if you send any money, we're going to use it to feed the people, and we could fix up Buddha later. So the UN said, then we're not sending any money. So the Taliban said, then we're going to blow up Buddha. So this is what the, the sequence of events that led to this crisis occurring at this time. Now, was it a wise thing to do? No. Uh, especially in light of the fact that there's no one in Afghanistan actually worshiping, worshiping the Buddha as all the people there are Muslim now. And in light of the fact that it would create this tremendous uh, ill will and misunderstanding, which has a backlash against Islam. But it, so it wasn't a wise thing to do in my estimation, but it is not an event that occurred in a vacuum. And it is not an event that, incurred, that occurred because of some uh, intrinsic uh, intolerance of the Taliban towards Buddha. As we said, Buddha was fine until this series of events started.